Hi there. Uh, welcome to the outdo series. Uh, so we'd just like to go over what does this uh, series would mean to the business user, any 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 user who is using SAP GTS system. So we plan to post videos uh, on any one particular topic in, in small chunks which would help either the business user or uh, or any person, an IT user from SAP GTS, it would help them to learn few tricks in the system, new functionality in the system. So we just want to make this a short and sweet, something which you can uh, uh, learn during your lunch or any breakout session. Okay. Now I would like to concentrate on SPL screening and we'll be posting uh, few videos on SPL screening. So this would be the first part. So the topic on this discussion is going to be offline screening. Okay, what does offline screening mean? So let's say that you have multiple non-SAP systems connected to GDS for your uh, for your trade needs. So vendors come in, customers come in, your business master data from many different legacy systems, it does the screening, uh, all, all, all those all those kind of stuff. Let's say that there is there is some data which is not a, which there is some data which you are not able to connect to GDS system, but you would still would like to avail the service the GDS system can offer. So that's where something like offline screening would come into picture. So what does offline screening do? It it takes your business master data, your customers, vendors, any any business partner data. You you need to uh, give uh, the, that information in an XML file. That's the key. Once you have the XML file, you can uh, you can either have this file in the application server or in your own desktop, and then you can do the sanction party list screening. And your results will be sent as an XML file in the target uh, location you mentioned. So this is very handy for people who are not able to connect. For some reason, they are not able to connect to GTS. They would, they can avail this service which GTS offers. So that being said, I'm going to show you a quick demo of how this works. Let me get into the GTS system. So. In, uh, so this is the main screen. I go to SQL screening, and then uh, in my main screening window, you would see screen external addresses offline. So I would execute that, and I, my legal regulation is SPL US. I mean, I would say any any uh, system. So I I have a. So let me open this uh, test file which I have prepared for this demo. I'm opening it in Notepad. So this is the I mean it just has one record. I've just set an address number. I've given name, city, postal code, street, country, language. So I've just given a random name. So I mean this is the format the system expects. So I'm going to mention this as my target file. I mean this is my source file. The system would also need you to give a target file. So, I mean, I have just created a target file. I will replace it. So, it's, it's going to be from my front end of my system. So, there are three options. I mean, what's the the output file? How do you like that? I mean, do you want with with all the sanction party list details with your addresses? Without your addresses, or do you I mean do you want the file with bad little information without any SPL details or without any of the address information? And I'm going to say I need the file with the address information I give in my input file, as well as I need all the information in which it. Uh, I mean, if 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 it's a potential block, then I would need what are all the SPL lists list it is eating against. 
I would need all those details. So I'm going to choose number two. And then I'm go I need my output result. Then I just click execute. There you go. So this was the name I gave. This was the street. It picked all of that information on the status is rich. It couldn't find any of the SPL list because it's not a potential match. I'm going to say save. It says 438 bytes transfer. So I'm going to open my target one. I'm going to open it in WordPad. If you can see uh, so the name one, name two, all of those details are here along with the address information because I said that I need the output file with all the address information so it, 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 it picked all the name address and if you can see here address block that is not a block in case if this is going to be a block you would see an X mark over here in this XML tag so because this is released I mean, uh, I I don't see I don't see an X mark over here. So so there you are. So you you gave an XML file, and uh, in the result there was an output file in XML format, which screened and which which says that uh, the business partner which you gave is not blocked. So I would li also like to do one other example, which would. Uh, I mean, I prepared one other XML file. If you see this example, I've said Osama bin Laden as my name one, Al Qaeda as my name two. So uh, I'm going to input this file. Let me do the same thing. Pretty much the same thing, just one other example. I'm going to pick, then I'm going to say target two. When I say do you want to replace? Yes, I would like to replace. I need all the address, I need all the SPL list it's hitting against. I'm going to execute the file. Boom, there you go. So it's blocked as expected. This is the name, this was the street. It picked all this information from the XML file. And these are all the SPL list, list it is hitting against. So this gives wonderful information. And then I'm going to click save. There you go, 71. So all this information has been transferred. Now I'm going to open my target file. I'm going to open in WordPad. Ooh, that's a lot of information. The reason? You see address block, there was an into mark. So basically it's, it's blocked. So I'm going to say any reason, I mean any comments, then it's going to come over here. So it blocked again so many SPL lists. If you see the system, there was so many SPL lists at the bottom. It found match against. All of those details are here. I mean, I mean I can just pick this XML file, I can just go over and analyze, okay, I mean why am I why was my business partner came as a bad guy? So I can just go through this XML file and uh, do my own analysis. So this is uh, this is how we do uh, um, SPL, I mean offline screening to to GTS. So we can avail GTS services, though uh, the data is not directly connected to GTS. So so our very first series, I would just went over the offline screening. I'll meet you in one other series where we take one other functionality or uh, we show uh, tricks in, in the SAP GTS system.